Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Green Ground, your premier destination for the most riveting discussions on movies, TV series, and the tech that brings them to life. I'm your host, Alvin, and today we're diving into a topic that set the internet ablaze. So get comfortable, grab your popcorn, and let's unravel the tapestry of controversy and conversation that's got everyone talking. Now, imagine a world where the stories we love, the characters we cherish, and the universes we escape to are suddenly caught in a whirlwind of change. This isn't just any story. This is the tale of an empire, an empire known as Disney, and how a single episode of South Park might just have changed the narrative forever. In a bold and unapologetic move, South Park took a swing at the entertainment giant, poking fun at the ideologies and social messages that have been woven into the fabric of our beloved Star Wars and Marvel universes. It's a satirical masterpiece that holds up a mirror to the corporate giant, questioning whether the pursuit of change was truly for the betterment of the world or merely a misstep that affected shareholder value. But let's peel back the layers, shall we? At the heart of this storm is Kathleen Kennedy, a name that's become synonymous with Star Wars and its recent direction. South Park didn't just mock. It exposed the perceived laxiness in storytelling, the repetition of content, and the push for diversity, equity, and inclusion that, according to the episode, has not necessarily translated into success. Now, I want you to think back to the original allure of Star Wars. It was a universe that naturally appealed to a wide audience, boys and girls alike, without trying too hard. It was the biggest entertainment franchise of its time, only to be dethroned by Marvel, which interestingly enough followed a similar path, but then came the shift the pivot to a female-centric narrative that, while well-intentioned, may not have landed as intended? You see, the force may be female, but the question that South Park raises is whether this new direction truly resonated with the audience it sought to captivate. Did it bring more women into the fold, or did it push away the core fans who had built their own personal death stars of devotion? This is where the conversation gets heated, and I want you, our viewers, to weigh in. What's your take on this evolution? Comment below because your voice is part of this epic saga we're discussing. And as we delve deeper into this narrative, we encounter Gina Carano, an actress whose departure from the Star Wars universe sparked debates and discussions about freedom of expression and the politics of entertainment. Her character, Cara Dunn, was set to be a beacon in the Star Wars galaxy, but her firing led to a domino effect that reshaped the landscape of Disney and its offerings. Now before we continue, if you're finding this discussion as intriguing as a plot twist in a season finale, take a moment to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, subscribe to Green Ground for more deep dives into the stories behind the stories. So where does this leave us? With merchandise shelves gathering dust and Disney series struggling to replicate the magic of their predecessors, we're left to ponder the decisions that led us here. South Park's critique, while timely, begs the question, is it too late? Has the narrative already been written, or is there still a chance for redemption? This brings us to the bigger picture, the overseers of the narrative. Bob Iger and Kevin Feige, their roles in this unfolding drama cannot be overlooked. After all, every decision, every shift in direction happened under their watch. Could they have steered the ship away from the iceberg? And let's not forget Marvel, which, under Feige's guidance, seems to be walking a path that mirrors the one Star Wars tread, for better or for worse. But let's not dwell solely on critique. It's easy to point fingers after the fact, and hindsight, as they say, is 20 hefny. What we're interested in is the future, the next chapter, what lessons can be learned, and how can these titans of entertainment adapt and evolve to recapture the magic that once made them the masters of our imaginations. As we wrap up today's discussion, I want you to think about the power of storytelling, the responsibility of those who wield it, and the impact it has on us, the audience. We've covered a lot today, but this conversation is far from over. Your thoughts, your opinions, and your theories are what make Green Ground the vibrant community it is. So as we close this chapter, remember to check the description for more details and insights, and keep the conversation going in the comments section. Do you agree with South Park's take, or do you see things differently? Let's chat, let's debate, and let's continue to explore the ever-evolving landscape of entertainment together. Until next time, I'm Alvin, and this has been Green Ground. Keep watching, keep listening, and keep the magic of stories alive. And remember, the Force isn't just female or male. It's the power of the fans that truly shapes the galaxy. Farewell, and may the stories be with you.